After a death, a child may experience many intense feelings. <laughs> when they return to school, they may also feel anxious and self-conscious. Who knows what's happened? What if I cry in front of the class? As their teacher, you may worry about what to say and do. What do I say? What do I do? Should I say anything to the rest of the class? But you can make a huge difference by your presence, providing simple care, kindness and support, just like you do every day of the week already. Here are some things to remember. Acknowledge what's happened. Let the child know you're aware of what's happened to them. Use simple, direct words like dead and died. Euphemisms like lost or up in the clouds are confusing for children. I'm so sorry that your father has died. You may find things difficult for a while, but I want you to know you can always come to me. Where possible, it's ideal to consult with the child and family before they return to school. Let the class know the child is returning. Jack's coming back to class tomorrow. Please remember that his father has just died. Ask the child, how can I help? What would make it easier for you? Remember, young children may not have the words to express how they feel. Would you like me to say anything about your dad? Every child is different, so don't assume you'll know what they want. No, not yet. I just want to sit down. Be flexible and understanding. Keep in mind, a child may find it difficult to concentrate in class or keep up with homework. Create a safe, supportive environment. Be alert for moments when they may need a break. Maintain classroom routine. Sometimes school is the only part of a child's life that feels normal. Be flexible, but remember that routine can be a great comfort. Listen with eyes, ears and heart. Sometimes you don't need to do anything. Just being there for a child in small, everyday ways is key. Be aware of their facial expressions and body language. What they don't say can be just as important as what they do say. Simple things, like a smile during class or making eye contact, can make all the difference. Don't underestimate the significance of your ongoing care, empathy and vigilance for this child in the months following a loss. Your relationship is very important to the child. And remember, acknowledge what's happened, ask the child how you can help, be flexible and understanding, create a supportive environment, Maintain routine. Listen with eyes, ears and heart. Please note that children experience bereavement differently depending on their age. For more resources on this, go to www.childhoodbereavement.ie.